And welcome back to some more some more of the squib. We have reached level 28 and maxed out both destru destruction and alchemy. I used alchemy to create enough potions to sell to Ferelda to buy everything I can get in destruction. So pretty much all that's left. That leaves that done, that done, speech. We have all the perks we're going to be getting. And I mean, it, it might level up a little bit more if we make some more potions and sell a few things. Snake still has a long way that it could go, but we're not putting any perks into there. So that pretty much leaves enchanting. So I'm keeping these two perks for the expert and master level uh, perks for... Uh, crafting scrolls. Uh, if we gain if we gain any more levels, then I'll probably put one into Soul Siphon. And I did actually test Frost Enchanter, and it does not seem to increase the damage output of my Staff of Ice Storms. Unfortunately, otherwise I would probably take both that and Storm Enchanter. Right, but since I'm not planning on actually doing any enchanting for myself, I'm just going to keep those two perks there. So we're back at uh, Fort Frostmoth. Oh, and you'll see that I upgraded my map. So now this is the paper map by Warburg. And that also fixed my texture issues that I was having. Apparently has something to do with um, not properly registering long, um, textures that were used long distance. So when I'm like way over there, it regist it loads a small, you know, blurry texture for here. So yeah, now that uh, that had something to that was being affected by the map mod. So now that the map mod is updated, the texture problem is gone. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to handle this a little more carefully. We're going to go in there kind of stealthy. Not go in guns blazing. Come on, get up there. Okay, now... Are these guys going to... Activate on me? No? Fort Frostmoth. I'm not sure which one I... Should go into. So that guy is just kind of sitting there. Requires a key. Well, that settles that. Don't know if that is going to... I'm going to get detected somehow at all. Okay, so the guy I'm looking for is... over that way. It's got to go this way and around. I'm taking it. Oh. Yes. Let's carefully, carefully. So we'll do the Storm Atronach. And then we'll turn invisible. this is going to work. We just kind of slip by. Very quietly. Oh dear. Um. Yeah, there's several there, aren't there? They seem to kind of get their 
butt's kicked. I mean, my storm Atronach does. So as soon as my invisibility spell wears off, he's going to see me. How did I get detected? Great. Okay. Destruction. Die. my guy. Thank goodness. Okay, do either of you have the key? No. Requires key. More muffle. It's not sounding good at all, is it? We'll switch over to Frost Atronach. Wait until he manages to kill him. And then switch over to Frost, which we can then fire our staff. Okay, you should be able to take him out now. Come on. Finish him. There you go. Um, okay, I don't think... Oh, oh no. Did you really have to stand right there? Do I have to wait until you... Ah, oh, really? Can't banish it. <sighs> okay, he's gonna disappear in a couple of seconds. Right. There we go. Can I do some recharging? Not sure if I actually have enough potion or um filled soul gems. Key and a ring. Um, ah, interesting. So she's involved somehow. Adari, it was Neloth's. Apprentice. And I helped to defeat her. Which actually brings me to something we're going to be doing um, soon. Uh, Neloth uh, invited me to join House, House Telvani and gave me an invitation. It says, Dragonborn, you've recently acquired a certain undeniable value which could be of use for House Delvani. We are in need of an explorer with skill and efficiency, a pioneer that will expand House Delvani directly into the heart of Skyrim. 
Due to the Red Mountain explosion and the savage Argonian invasion into Morrowind, we no longer have the expenses at our disposal to grow any new strongholds, but this is where I hope you will come to our aid. The Imperials and Stormcloaks have left Skyrim in conflict and ruin for many years to come. We must use this opportunity and claim a piece of land for House Talvani, so you are hereby invited to grow a new stronghold which will be named Talnalta. The land I have in mind is on the island in the middle of Lake Ilanata, uh, north of Falkreath. It is one of the few spots in Skyrim surrounded by a vast amount of water which will make for an excellent strategic position. You should start with building a bridge to the island from the shore. After that, you should check out the soil on the island for good growing spots for all the new buildings. Master and Counselor of House Dalvani Neloth. So my map doesn't... Uh, act, oh, this is, I'll have to go back to Skyrim, Skyrim, but my map doesn't actually show that island. But we will go and check that out when we get back. Now, am I going to run into uh, anything here? Um. Aha. Okay, so there's him over there. Um, let's go with the Storm Matronach. So they're waking up, which is not good. Oh my goodness, they destroyed that thing in a hurry. And they seem to be detecting me slowly. Okay. Ow. Yeah, that's really not good. Um, how am I going to kill him? Uh, see, fury's not going to work. Fear's not going to work on them. I. Oh! Oh! I did it! Forest Frostmoth and Champion's Cudgel. Phew. Oh, and I, I think I actually drank all my health potions. Oh, no. I just didn't put that on. <laughs> okay. So I, I won. Return to Veloth. Anything, uh, anything interesting to collect from here? A little, mo a little bit of money. Huh, okay. There you go. So just, uh, kind of taking my time. Not rushing headlong in. Sort of worked out. Let's just run, shall we? They don't need to know that we were ever here. Great. So that's the end of that. Uh, there's one more place I want to check out. That is White Ridge Barrow. But first of all, let's head back 
to Skyrim and see if we can find that location that uh, Neloth was talking about. So, Lake Illinata is here. My map does not show an island. But um, there's Falkreath. It did say north of Falkreath. So, can I... Yeah, I can't fast travel there. So we'll head north and see what we can find. I don't know what's involved in... Oh, it's... Uh, a little bit dark. Let's maybe wait until morning. All right, north. Right over the hills and mountains and rocks. Get up to the uh, get up to the lake and see. I hope building this uh, bridge is going to be easy. I don't know if I have to gather ingredients for that or what exactly. Nice morning. Ah, seems to be. Oh. Excuse me. But who are you? Oh, nice shot. So there's something on my map that looks an awful lot like. Uh, the Telmithrin marker. Oh, yeah. Really, I got a kill scene without actually killing anything. I like the staff, it looks cool. Okay, hey, what's the... Oh, we got wolves. Let's drink one of those. And deal with these. Are you coming? Your buddy is dead. There you go. Okay, so what's the easiest way to get over there? I guess we're swimming. Oh. Activate infused soil? Let's What's that do? Would you like to grow a bridge? One grand soul, one nern root, ten white crap. White crap. <laughs> uh, that's getting too late. Ten white cap and ten fly amanata. Well, I don't have all those things. In fact, I don't think I have any of those things. The water looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I don't think I have any of those things. Definitely don't have the the fly amanata or the white cap. And I don't have I think it was a grand soul. I presume a grand soul gem? Or does it actually want a grand soul? Oh, one grand soul. Okay. 
Well, you know what? We will do that in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.